Founded in 1971 by women committed to civil rights and reproductive choice, the Massachusetts Women's Political Caucus is now celebrating 50 years and an impressive track record of changing the way women play the political game in Massachusetts. It's a multi-partisan statewide organization focused on women's political empowerment. And joining me is Dawn Shan. She's the board chair of the Massachusetts Women's Political Caucus and board member Gail Jackson Blount, who was the first African-American to serve as the NWPC board chair. Welcome to you both. <laughs> so let's you. do a little time tunnel here and Rewind the clock to 1971. If you, Dawn, why don't you start by talking about the history of why MWPC came to be? It started actually in the summer of 71 in Washington, D.C. The failure of the Equal Rights Amendment really galvanized women. And Gloria Steinem, Fannie Lou Hamer, Shirley Chisholm, they gathered in D.C. and had a, a major conference. And there they decided to found the National Women's Political Caucus. And several women from Massachusetts were there. And they came home and they started their state caucus. And those founders were Lena Saunders, Elaine Mitchell, Elaine Noble, uh, Betty Tamor, Ann Lewis, and Marge Schiller and Dolores Mitchell. And they are a really remarkable group. And we've been really fortunate to be able to pull them back into this celebration of 50 years and find out why they did what they did. And it's been inspiring. Yeah, now I know you and Gail were not there 50 years ago, <laughs> so I know you both know yeah. the history. So as the organization began to, to evolve, uh, Gail, talk about um, some of the challenges mm -hmm. and the accomplishments. Exactly. I, from what I've learned, this experience of, of, um, of uh, learning the history of the organization, um, one of the things that I learned was that years ago, um, they actually endorsed men as well. Mm -hmm. Right now, we are a women, we only endorse women, and we are a bipartisan organization. So some of the challenges, I think, have come around, um, one, uh, removing that from our, from our efforts, but also I would say a lot of the challenges have been um, getting women to really think seriously about getting involved in politics mm -hmm. and running for office. Um, there's a saying that it, 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 at minimum it used to take seven times yeah. you know, for a woman to be asked to run for an office. And so today, fortunately, we are at a much different place mm -hmm. and women feel very comfortable um, in, in putting their, throwing their hats in the ring. And women are becoming more advocates and, and advocates for their communities, for their families. And they're saying, you know, I'm gonna step out there, whether it's at the grassroots level of working on the, at the school committee level uh, or running for the local city council or, or um, local legislative offices. One of the great things uh, I think about MWPC uh, is that you prepare women to mm. be candidates. Yes. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the training that is involved or the, the resources that you provide mm. to women who are considering jumping into politics. Mm. It's, it's been a tradition of the organization to be helpful mm -hmm. and uh, training on uh, you know, just how to run a campaign has been just part of the DNA of the organization. But I would argue that now it's even harder to run a campaign. It's a technology-driven, mm -hmm. uh, social media-driven endeavor, and it's complicated. Mm -hmm. So we offer uh, something called master classes. So we, we specifically come up with very easy ways for people to drop into a class, uh, take something that's particular to their needs at that moment. So you could take a class on fundraising, on how to run a digital campaign, uh, media training. Mm -hmm. We try to be focused on what's the best way to get uh, candidates into a space where they feel safe mm -hmm. and we can provide world-class educators to them. Mm -hmm. And again, this is um, multi-partisan. Uh, yes. organization. Yes. So this kind of training and resources mm -hmm. is available to everyone. As we said at the beginning, uh, MWPC has a great track record of mm -hmm. success. I think we uh, have some figures to show the audience. Um, in 1971, there were only five women in the State House. Yes. There are now 182. Is that the right number? I, th it's, it's, I think it's 100. Uh, uh, That's yeah. the number it's, of women that have been elected. Yes, been yes, elected. Been elected. Exactly. Thank you. Thank exactly. You been much. elected. And uh, in the State House, and so it varies whether it's in the State House or City Hall mm -hmm. um, or the local cities and towns mm -hmm. throughout. Mm -hmm. and, and talk about some of the success you've had with uh, endorsing candidates. Mm -hmm. Yes. The endorsed candidates, uh, it's been a real pleasure to learn about how many people have started their careers with an endorsement from this organization. 
and that includes um, Catherine Clark, who came to the organization when she was running for school committee. So we've seen uh, you know, extraordinary women uh, at the very beginning of their careers, and that includes uh, Congresswoman Ayanna Presley, who was actually a board member at a mm -hmm. time, mm -hmm. and uh, Gail. Yeah, we have actually we, one of our, uh, Kim Janey, um, who is, you know, is our, our uh, most recent, the mayor, the first woman and woman of color mayor. And then, of course, uh, Michelle Wu, yes. who is, um, she was actually uh, uh, the, the co-chair of our Young Professionals Program before yes. she mm -hmm. ran for office. Mm -hmm. And in fact, Don loves to tell the story how she uh, sent us a letter letting us know that due to the fact that she was going to be <laughs> throwing her hat and running for Boston City Council, that she would, be, she would need to step down from her duties as uh, uh, chairing our uh, Young Professionals Program. So we have really influenced a lot of women. I'm a Senator Elizabeth Warren. Um, you know, our, 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 all of the actually most of the women who are in the state house and city hall right now, all of the women who are in Boston City Council have all been endorsed by the Mass Women's Political Caucus. And we talk about um, changing the game for women yeah. in politics. How do you think MWPC has changed the game forever for women in Massachusetts? Exactly. Well. I think that we have changed the game because now women are feeling empowered. Mm -hmm. Women are emboldened. Women know that we can do it, and we're not afraid. And so I would, and, and Don, I, I think that you may have something to add to that as well. <laughs> you know that you know we all, we often talk about how proud we are to see the number, or the sheer number of women who come to us every year seeking our support and our endorsement, um, and the support for their campaigns and, and the training. So I think that that really speaks volumes. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. I would agree. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a hard thing to do to run a campaign. Yes. And it often is, it makes you feel vulnerable. Exactly. And to have a group of people who can stand behind you, mm -hmm. hold your hand, mm -hmm. tell you how to do this. Yes. Uh, I think it makes a huge difference it for does. people. It does. Makes, makes all the difference in the world. Yes. yes. Yeah. And uh, I know we're almost out of time here, but... Um, MWPC also has done great work supporting women of color candidates and have uh, just increased the percentage of women of color across the state running at all levels. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little no, about that? No, but you do. Okay. <laughs> I am very, well, that's something, that, as, as a woman of color myself, that's something I'm incredibly mm -hmm. um, excited and proud of. And um, the fact that we have at least, you know, where we have uh, at least over 40% of the women who mm -hmm. are running for office and who have been endorsed by our organization, mm -hmm. by the Mass Women's Political Caucus, Karen, are women of color. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we're very proud of. Um, you know, they, they've really learned, you know, the, the mm -hmm. skills um, and what they don't know. We will work with them to help train them mm -hmm. as well as support our you know that we receive from our sister organizations um, throughout the Commonwealth yeah. as well okay well happy mm -hmm. uh, 50th anniversary yeah. to the Massachusetts <laughs> Women's Political Caucus and thank, thank you. you Dawn and Gail for all the work you do thank, thank you, you very much and thank you for your support all right everybody thanks for watching be sure to follow us on Facebook Instagram and Twitter at CityLine 5 follow me on Twitter at Karen Holmes Ward have a good afternoon stay safe and be well